copy, pilot ready to take off. All go. I got to Australia a few weeks ago. Uh, it's been a very compressed program. I had to do my uh, EPL for uh, sub 7 kilos, also for uh, sub 25 kilos. This was done in Sydney. It was good fun, very, lots of material to study, so the theoretical exams were, were challenging. All went really well, uh, fully qualified now. And since then I've been working with Andrew, helped me out a lot on the STA, which is sort of like a, a mini airspeed there, sort of reacts the same, has the same systems, and uh, he was happy that I was able to fly the speeder, so here we are. It started at 4 a.m., so nice and early, all the way from uh, Adelaide, all the way to here, where, where the test site is, and lots of equipment that we need to bring, and then prepare and set up. It's finally time to go flying the airspeeder. It's a uh, bit intimidating being here, but uh, I think I can tame the beast and uh, can't wait to get her flying and uh, zooming by. Have a lucky fist pump, by the way. That's good luck. Come on, good luck. She's gonna be good. Copy. Pilot ready to take off. All go. There. Nine. I'll bring her around. We'll do a, a semicircle now. Control, zero percent control, disarm. Yes. Yeah. Well done. Yeah. Well Come done, on. Mate. How's that feel? All right. Yeah. It was quite tense in the beginning, but uh, take off and landing. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? This was awesome. It was so daunting to begin with. You know, especially the takeoff because the craft can get a little bit hooked up on the ground. So, very precious uh, advice from uh, Andrew and, uh, and the whole crew. Everybody did a great job. The speeder is obviously a much bigger drone, so it has a much more, much more inertia. You need to like really take that into consideration, not only for the movement of the craft, but also for stopping, height, and all the inputs are a lot more thought of than a small craft that goes immediately as you, as you give the input. So it really takes a bit of time to understand this feeling, but once it goes, it's like really going fast. It has some good power as well. The climb rate was awesome. I think uh, racing would be quite cool today. Windy, so uh, definitely got a respect the wind and make sure the conditions are in the right place to have a safe flight. Once we started going, like we just went battery after battery after battery, and you're just like getting used to the craft. So honestly, I had a great time. I'm still like pumped. I want to go flying longer and racing. Let's do it. 